I need to ask you two really important questions here. Do you estimate projects at night and on weekends? And would you like to spend more time with your family? If you want to improve on those two critical questions, I have the perfect solution that will really help for both. Welcome to Writer & Company, your resource for construction estimating technology. How about a free concrete estimating spreadsheet that does the work of three to six estimators? I know it sounds crazy, but I'll let you be the judge of that. So hold on to your chair and watch this concrete estimating takeoff done in seconds. Not hours, not days, not weeks. Just seconds. This is the free estimating and takeoff spreadsheet that comes with the purchase of the Excel plugin for electronic plan takeoff. It's extremely important to note that your answers to the takeoff dimensions and questions will automatically calculate your labor material and equipment quantities and price your concrete in detail, complete. All right, so here we have a slab on grade and I took off some slab on grade. I'm gonna take off additional uh, areas to accumulate. And so I hit the takeoff button for area and what up comes up the takeoff I've done before. You could see it right over there in blue hatching. And now I'm going to take off an additional part of this slab on grain. And so I'm sliding the drawing up, as you could see, uh, so you could see it a little bit clearer. I'm just uh, sliding it up a little bit. And what, what, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start clicking the corners of where the, the extents of the slab on grain. As you see, you just click with your mouse on the different corners uh, of the edges of the slab. And when you're done, it, it, it puts it right over here in a list. Your Excel descriptions are here in the list. When you're done, what do you press? The Done button. And as you can see, it transfers it all to this uh, sheet in Microsoft Excel. Then you just uh, slide on down and you start asking some spec, answering some specs and dimensions, as you can see. Um, what's the thickness of the gravel? What's the thickness of the concrete in feet? Any edge form or rebar? You just fill in the blanks. And when you're done with those answers, you just slide to the bottom of this a spreadsheet as you can see over here I have a, a quantity and estimate concrete tab when you click that it actually transfers a photocopy of the information to another tab and as you see it transfers it all over here so you remember what you answered but what's most important over here by once you answer those questions these quantities these descriptions of quantities are automatically calculated you know no manual calculation here and as you can see over here all your quantities are shown over here a little bit to the right of the screen. I'm going to slide the screen over a little bit so you can see a little bit more in detail. And so you see uh, over here the quantity column. I'm highlighting the quantity column and if there's any conversion, yeah, what's in blue, you just change those numbers and automatically changes. I have a uh, waste quantity column that automatically updates the next column over, the quantity with waste. Um, and now this other column, we're, sh we're showing you the unit price per those units of measure. Here's your crew makeup where we have the, the number of members in the crew at their hourly cost per crew hour or per crew day. You have your production for your crew and it converts to crew days or crew hours at your total cost of your crew per hour or per crew day. And it extends it on out. So as you see over here, we're accumulating to our total cost column and it all extends on out. It's a little bit uh, blocked out right now. And now what we're showing you here is the labor burden and overhead and profit column for labor and then material column overhead and profit along with general conditions. And so what we're showing you here is the cost column and the selling price column. So look at that, cost total and your sell total. And what we do is we take the, qu the square foot of the slab divided by into this total cost or the total sell and you get your cost per square foot. All right, so here we have a slab, a, a footing, a strip footing. And actually I've done some of the strip footings over here, but this, the process is the same. You highlight uh, what it is you want to go measure and you hit one of the action buttons. In this case, it's feet. And as you can see over here, I've done a whole bunch of takeoff uh, and uh, you see it's all outlined in red. And um, when you're done, uh, as, I'm, as you see, I'm uh, sliding it on up. And just to show you, we could add uh, uh, other footings if we want to and you just click around and bingo it updates right there just like what we did with the slab when you're done of course we hit the dust done button and bingo there it goes it, it updates over here uh, and you see it accumulating to the total to 355.28 now on footings however there's a lot more questions we need to ask about excavation uh, angle of repose for excavated sides if any 
Uh, what's the concrete width and thickness? What's the form length and height? If, if there's anything there. Now what's interesting here is we also have your quantity of rebar in the long direction. And then of course the rebar size of that long rebar. And again, the other direction, uh, the rebar spacing of the short rebar in the opposite direction, and it's, and it's uh, rebar number. And if there's any dowel spacing or any dowels, you just put in the spacing right there and guess what? You hit the quantity estimate uh, thing and it automatically transfers over to the next uh, tab over in the spreadsheet. Like before, we have our quantities all totaled up. It's all automatic. Uh, any conversions are taking place. Um, we have our quantity uh, converted over, and in this case, uh, you'll be, you, you know, we actually have some uh, quantities with crew hours, uh, quantities with uh, uh, equipment hours, quantities with, for materials, and of, of course, quantities for labor. Um, you see some of the conversions over there, the, net, the new updated quantity, whatever your waste factors are, and, and here's the corrected quantity with waste. Here are our unit, a column for uh, unit prices, our total cost column, and then again, like we like before, we have a labor burden column that actually also has overhead and profit, and you change those percentages, and now we have the same thing for material, a material uh, overhead and profit, as well as general conditions to, de to determine the selling price of, the, of these footings. And so, uh, as we slide over to the left-hand side, we're showing you, uh, we're actually not showing it to you, it's a little bit blurred out for you, but you'll get all the clear stuff when you when you purchase the takeoff software. Uh, the crew makeup over here and with the production rates are automatically in there. Um, so we have our total cost, our total selling price divided by the linear foot of that footing to give you a cost per linear foot, in this case, or cost per cubic yard of concrete installed. Now, wasn't that fantastic? I hope you didn't fall out of your chair. The solution is super easy, super fast, and super accurate. Look. I know you want more time for the more important things in life, right? Remember, the concrete estimating spreadsheet is free. Yes, you heard right, it's free with the purchase of the Electronic Plan Takeoff plugin from Microsoft Excel. So don't delay, call us today at 1-800-482-1014 or email us so we can schedule a live in-depth presentation with you online. You will see much more detail of this fantastic concrete estimating spreadsheet.